Dime Dropper fam. As you can see, we back. Staple Center downtown. Clippers content and basketball content is back on Dime Dropper. So tonight's game, a very special occasion. In fact, the news just came out that for the first time this season, we are fully healthy, fully healthy. I think we may have been fully healthy against the Suns on opening night, but without minutes restrictions, really, I don't think for Kawhi and Paul and stuff. So Paul's back, Zoo's back, Reggie's back, Norman is back, and Kawhi and Paul will likely play 30 plus minutes each. We got the Charlotte Hornets tonight. It's my first time seeing them since Tobias Harris and then winter break for my junior year of college, 2018-19 season, we whooped them. I also saw them in 2018 at TD Garden against the Celtics. It's gonna be fun to see them tonight. First time seeing LaMelo ball, we should get a win, have to get a win when we're fully healthy. Beat these guys two weeks ago in a Kawhi game winner. Let's get another one. Second time seeing Kawhi live this season after that Phoenix game. Excited to see it. Vlog number five, cue the music. Jackson on the drive, kicks it out for man. Man, three pointer, bang! Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12. Good! Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! They win! Now that's a steal by Murray. Underneath the DJ. Going up on the bell. Fall away. Yes! Yeah, yes! Yeah, at the buzzer. He does it. Was there ever a doubt? A yeah. Smith screen. Holds him on the bed. Physical game. Oh, man. A monster jam by Blake Griffin. End of an era, I guess. It was like a little frozen yogurt spot. I don't know how long it's been gone. And then it was a little pizza place that was okay. That's gone, but hey. Guess there's gonna be somebody buying out this whole new area. Alright, here we are. Charlotte. Here, thanks to my man Anthony. Anthony, score prediction tonight? Score prediction? Uh, 120, 99. We'll keep you one There we go. Blowout City. Yep. A lot of LaMelo jerseys in the crowd tonight. Uh, and a little homecoming for him, but we'll see how it happens. So excited to see the boys fully healthy again. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Decent start for the boys. Paul George already has six points. Two of them were from Kawhi Leonard assists. Decent attendance tonight. I think it'll be starting to go up and be sellouts consistently now that Kawhi's back. But not a sellout yet tonight. But better in the 300 section than normal this season. It's a clear out. Throw it to him. High low, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, that's us. Way to fight, Sue. Way to fight. Nico comes Nico. Nico and John. Here we go. Yeah. It's 
go, John! Good job, boys. Go to work! Oh, good shot, Kawhi. Defense. A little too much mustard on that one. Small ball unit doing okay right now. A lot of fouls. Nico! Nico! That's his second three of the quarter. He's got like three rebounds too, Nico. Oh, we can switch that. Oh, good, deep. good hands, John! Good hands, John! Oh. Yeah, we'll take that. We will take that. Norman Powell's got six points, too. We got a total bench lineup in right now. Everybody and their mother having a good game for the Clippers right now. 12 for Paul. Three pointers galore. It couldn't be any more perfect right now for the Clips. Oh, look at those hands! Look at those hands! Good hands, boys. Been active hands all game and doing a good job of pushing the pace just like this. Oh, and he, oh, oh, oh my God. Get nervous over there? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Third person. George leading the way with 14, 5, and 4. Active hands, pressure, perfect half. All right, Kevin, we're up by 30 right now. How you feeling about that first half? Well, they keep playing like that. Nobody's beating them. Good luck, everybody else. There we go. Happy with Kawhi and Paul so far? Oh, absolutely. They don't even have to score that much. They're still being active, so. Any chance Hornets come back? Hell no. There we go. Time right here, man. We got some Clipper fans that recognize me from the show. What's your, what's your, all day, baby, all day. Hey, hey, we up by 30, up. we up by 30 right now, how you feeling about the performance, boys? Pretty, pretty nice, we doubling up that score, we stacking it to them, yeah, we do cheat. Is this the start of a run with the, with our healthy guys now? I, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Stay healthy. If we stay healthy. Uh, stay healthy. I think there's a lot going on in the West, a lot of like, consistencies and like good play and bad play, but I think the Clippers are run on the table. Let's go. Slowly but surely. Starting here first, Clippers number one in the West. There we go. I said that before the season. I got a long time dime dropper fan right here. Hey, so you're a Laker fan, but how you feeling right now about the Clipper game? The Hornets stink, man. They stink. It's bad. Like, the Mellow's playing horrible. Hey, do you think uh, with Kawhi and Paul healthy, what, what's the ceiling for the Clippers? What do you think they can do? Oh, really? There we go. You love to hear that, even from Laker fans. Any words? You got a Blake Griffin jersey on. No, no, I put this on the floor. Eva. I was wondering if you won. I ever, wait, let me see it. Blake Griffin, what size is it? Size? Oh, it's a kid small, bro. I don't need a kid small, but thank you for the offer. Still in control. Nico's been fantastic. Three in a row! Nico! Nico! Defense! Luke Kennard playing point guard right now. Assists. 
look at our point guard. They switch that. Uh -oh. Marcus Morris Senior for three. We got four starters in double figures now. And Nico's in double figures and Norman. So six guys in double figures. Oh, he had him backpedaling there. Oh. He said he wanted to slide to the corner. And here come the reinforcements. Returning for our Clippers, number 11, Sean Wall, number 24, Norman. Good job, Paul and Kawhi. Way to work, boys. Got a nice upgrade into a sweep. Thanks to our boy Jason. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jason, for your hospitality. Cue the music. Put that one in the W column, baby. We back healthy and kicking ass. Crowd on their feet at the Staples Center. When was the last time these bozos got a win here? I couldn't tell ya. The lovely Hannah. Ah, right, we got another fan here, Roman. How's it going? Clippers one by 21. What'd you think of the game, man? It was a hell of a game from the moment it started. We took that huge lead, and uh, I thought PG played very solid. Kawhi hit some big shots in the end, and it was just a great effort overall, great team effort, and I love the game. Is it the start of a little winning streak or some good fortune now that we're healthy? Oh, absolutely. We've won our last five out of six, and uh, I'm excited for the playoffs. I think we're going to make a big run this year, and uh, I really do think this is our year. If we stay healthy, Tyron Lewis, the candidate for coach of the year, so, hey, we got to be get a better seed, though, for him to be coach of the year candidate. That is true. I mean, we're at the fifth spot right now. We are moving our way up. I say by the end of the season, if all goes well, I say third to the best. At best? No, you wouldn't even give us a chance for top two? I mean, anything's possible. I, I would love that. There we go. Appreciate you, bro. Ooh, it feels so good to be back and back healthy again. What a performance from the guys. They ended that game in the first half. Hornets made a little fake run but the Clippers handled it. And you gotta love what Kawhi and Paul George do when they're healthy, it makes such a difference. They can switch onto so many different guys. The Clippers have so much more flexibility and it just makes it so much harder for teams to score. And then on the offensive end, you know, I talked about on Locked On Clippers today, the Clippers have the second worst offensive rating in the league. But when you got guys like Kawhi and Paul George playing healthy, it's not gonna be like that anymore because if you're not, if you don't have switch everything personnel, you were basically giving up open threes on some of these screen rolls, and we created a ton of open threes and knocked them down. And a guy that was crucial in doing that, Nico Batum. The man was just awesome tonight, made multiple threes, played good defense. Luke Kennard hit some threes off the bench. Norman Powell got into double figures. This was just showcasing the Clippers' depth firsthand. And even though the Hornets are an atrocious opposition, like they were just making it easy, not playing any defense, taking you know, not very good shots, not being able to create very good shots. And the Clippers just took advantage. It was a really nice, fun win. The starters got to rest a little bit. I thoroughly enjoyed it. 21 point win, led by as many as 30, like three. And also a fun game because I got to see a lot of family and even like five people came up to me that were fans that I didn't even know. And that's the most humbling thing ever when you see fans that you don't even know their names. Like, who are you? Uh, what's your name? And they're fans of the show, whatever. Fans of Dime Dropper, like, you gotta love that. I even saw my boy Ron from high school today, Ron Artesta III, yes, Ron's son. Hopefully we'll get his dad on Dime Dropper one day because you know, he used to coach in my high school and all that, but great performance, great win. 
It's so good to be back to winning ways and hopefully this starts some great momentum for us. <sighs> Vlog number five in the books. Clipper gang, you already know what it is. Clipper Nation, subscribe, like, comment. We fucking back. Let's go.